Hello, Mrs. Bixler again. <laughs> so we are now into intro three. We are still talking about angles, but uh, now we're going to talk a little bit more about postulates and um, theorems and definitions uh, that all sort of relate to these um, angles. So remember how we talked about the segment addition postulate, that SAP? So the segment addition postulate told us if I have something that looks like this, I would know that AB plus BC equals AC, right? Remember that? And that was part of betweenness. So betweenness was AB plus BC equals AC and that they are collinear. Um, we could also talk about AB. C. And whenever you see that, A, B, C written like that, it means, basically means B is between A and C and A, B plus B, C equals A, C. So they are collinear and this segment addition postulate applies. So the segment addition postulate is really, really important because we can do the same thing, but with angles. So the angle addition postulate is essentially the same thing. So if I have, and this is kind of like fancy language down here, but if I have point D and it's the interior, and the interior, sorry, of angle B, A, C, all that means is that there's like a ray AD that's in between those two, then I know that BAD plus DAC, so this angle BAD plus angle DAC, equals this larger angle, BAC. That is what we call the AAP, the angle addition postulate. And uh, there are gonna be lots and lots of abbreviations in geometry, which is kind of fun. I love abbreviating things, but it also uh, takes a lot of time to write out angle addition postulate. So AAP is the faster way to do it. All right, so the angle addition postulate is super important. The next thing is a linear pair. Okay, so we saw um, uh, adjacent angles uh, yesterday. Um, so it's kind of like adjacent angles here, except there's something in particular that's important. So adjacent angles, remember, share a ray. So in this case, they would share ray AC. But what's important is that the other rays, ray AB and ray AD, are opposite. So remember those opposite rays. So you'll see me draw a lot of really quick linear pairs. So you literally just draw a straight line and then and that would be a linear pair. I could say angle one and angle two are a linear pair by the definition of a linear pair. Um, so if I'm looking at a picture and I see that I've got two adjacent angles that form a straight line, like their bases form a straight line, that's what we call a linear pair by the definition of a linear pair. All right, so that's important. Second thing to keep in mind, or third thing, I think, I think we're on the third thing, um, is a really big term called supplementary. And the definition of supplementary is simply two angles, and it has to be two, two angles that add up to 180 degrees. They can be uh, adjacent, but um, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be adjacent. They don't have to be touching. So I could have a random angle S. So the measurement of angle S plus the measurement of angle P equals 180 degrees. So I could have two random angles. Here's one. Here's the other one. Angle X and angle Y. If I tell you that angle X and angle Y are supplementary to each other, it means they add up to 180. Um, if I told you that angle Y was 100 degrees, what's its supplement? Well, the supplement would be 80 degrees. Um, I hope that makes sense. All right. So we've got big stuff here. We've got the angle addition postulate, we've got linear pair, and then we've got supplementary. So moving on, um, this is our first kind of official postulate. Um, uh, no, this is our third, sorry, third official postulate, right? We had the segment addition postulate, the angle addition postulate. And now here is what we call the sup post. That's how we abbreviate it. Sup, post. See, I told you lots of abbreviations. It's the best. All right. So here we go. If I know that I have a linear pair, then I know they are supplementary to each other. That's the sup, post. If two angles form a linear pair. They're supplementary, which makes sense, right? If you look at this guy, 
I know that this plus this is going to equal this whole thing. And I know that whole thing is 180 degrees. Um, that is what we call a straight angle. So the subpost tells us if I know I have a linear pair, then I know they're supplementary to each other. So here is how this flow works. And then I'm going to let you guys go. So here's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you ABC. So I know, remember that they're collinear. And I know that AB plus BC equals AC. So it's basically just saying that they're collinear. So the thing I would know based on this picture is I know that, and let me give them numbers just to make our lives easier. I would know angle one and angle two are a linear pair. And I know that because of the definition of a linear pair. If I'm looking at a picture and I see a linear pair, it's a linear pair. That's the definition of a linear pair. The next thing I would know is I would know that angle one is sup, sorry for the delay, whoop, come on, is sup to angle two. Just pretend that says sup to angle two. All right, so angle one is sup to angle two, and I know that because, there we go, that's better. I know that because of the sup post. So remember, I'm looking at the picture, I see it's a linear pair. I know it's a linear pair because of the definition of a linear pair. Once I know it's a linear pair, the subpost tells me that they are supplementary to each other. And then once I know that angle one is supplementary to angle two, then I can say that the measurement of angle one plus the measurement of angle two equals 180. And I'm able to say that because of the definition of supplementary angles or def sup because we love our abbreviations. So that flow right here is super, super important. So um, we're about to finish. So go ahead and just check this out. Make sure you feel good about it and then go tackle the worksheet. You got this. See you soon.